welcome to the sixth episode of the moving abroad guide guys where i give you tips and share my experience after working and living in different countries for the last decade today we complete the topic of the balance and we speak about lifestyle this is what completes the calm set guys because once you have a job that you like and that gives you enough money to live well you have friends to share experiences with now you have to find a lifestyle that you like and enjoy. If you have these three factors in place, I am sure your experience abroad will be fantastic. Now, lifestyle can include so many things, so here is just an overview. My example first, just to give you an idea, guys. I tend to be quite a minimalist, so I just have few basic things that I need and that I use. I don't really buy a lot of things or spend a lot of money on my accommodation when I am abroad, especially because I know that I won't be there for the rest of my life. And basically, as long as I have a blender for my food, uh, weights to do some exercises and the right clothes for different occasions, I am basically fine. I don't buy objects and I don't either decorate my room. If I do so, I usually put my drawings on the wall, but I don't really buy anything. Weather, 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 climate. I do need the sun and I do need to go to the beach for a few months at least throughout the year. That's why I choose countries that give me this option because I want this to be a part of my lifestyle. For me personally, it's really important. I try to blend in with the locals as much as possible because I want to see and experience their way of living and this happened especially in Mexico of course because it's very different from where I'm from Italy or Europe I would say in general and basically I was the only foreigners living in a typical Mexican neighborhood which was quite far away from town center that helped as well and I was actually hanging out most of the times with locals as well people Mexican people because I wanted to learn from them and see how they were doing things how they were living and experiencing Mexico so in this video guys I want to cover three aspects of lifestyle let's start with the first which is your lovely home minimalist or maximalist or do you need a simple house and few material things or do you need to buy anything and everything? My advice is this guys, do not deprive yourself of things and make sure you have enough to live well and to feel like you are at home. If it helps, decorate your room, buy things for it. If it makes you feel like it's more yours, that's actually a very good thing because especially if you live with other people, so you, sh you share your house, your room is the only place that is 100% yours. If you need something, just buy it. If you use it or it has a purpose for you, you are fine. I remember the very first few years that I was abroad, I wouldn't buy anything because I knew I was going to move anyway later on in the future, so I would keep everything to a minimum. But then later on, I actually realized that if I buy things that make my life easier, so that I use or in any way, I would buy them. It's actually worth it. And at the end of the day, if you don't need them anymore or you want to move again, you can always sell those things or you can also send them back home, although the shipping might be quite expensive. Number two, guys is the weather and the climate of the country where you want to move to. Now, I do think it's actually a good idea and a good experience to move to a place where the weather is completely different from your own country. But there's always a but, there can be some limits. If you cannot stand the hot weather or humidity, living in a tropical country might be quite challenging. As well as, guys, if you cannot stand the cold, living in a country where it snows and it's zero degrees most of the year might not be the best option for you. If you are something like me, guys, weather does have an effect on you. I personally do struggle with low temperatures and my life is a bit more difficult in general. My skin is really sensitive, so with all the layers of clothes, it cannot really breathe. And also with the wind and the cold weather, it gets really red and dry so quickly. And that's actually really painful. Food-wise as well, guys, I am into a lot of foods and vegetables and fresh fruits, which I can usually find in place where the weather is quite hot. Number three, guys, is culture. 
different countries have different cultures and different ways of doing things which can be very different from your own honestly you don't really know how different they are until you actually experience them and i think that doing so is so fascinating because it does open up your mind but there's always a but you want to keep in mind and do some research before you move in order to see if there are some specific restrictions that might affect your normal way of living in the country where you want to go to. This can go from the religious views to being able to buy medicines with or without prescriptions up to the laws of the place, for instance. There are a lot of factors to consider depending on everyone's situation and keep in mind that capital cities tend to be more open-minded so you can always choose those. And please guys, I don't want to discourage you from moving abroad with what I'm saying but rather give you some information to think about. Of course, I don't want you to be like thinking about too many things that at the end of the day you get fed up and you don't want to move I just want you to be aware of certain things which can be really important for you and for your stay abroad. Even language, for example. Would you be willing to live in a country where you don't understand anything, where the language is completely, completely different from your own? Because that would affect your everyday communication with people. And with this, guys, I conclude the concept of the balance. To summarize, if you want to have the best experience abroad, you should keep in mind and balance these three factors. First of all, job as well as the money that you get. Two, people around you, so the relationships, the friendships that you have. And number three is the lifestyle, the way that you live. And this is the end of episode number six already of the Moving Abroad Guide. Guys, I hope you found this video useful. If so, let me know down in the comments or for any reason, just let us know what you think. If you have any tips, any ideas or anything you want to share with us, leave it down below. I would love to read your comments. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in episode number seven of this guide. And we're actually going towards the end of it, guys. So just so you know, and with very, very much willingness to travel as always, take a girl, your girl is out. Bye.